You may have heard of the body's biological clock before, but what about the Chinese body clock? Rooted in traditional Chinese medicine, the Chinese body clock is based on the notion that using your energy and specific organs when they are at their best will help you get the most out of them. You must first grasp the concept of qi in order to understand the Chinese body clock. In Chinese medicine, the term qi is used to refer to energy. In every sense of the word, it is made up of energy. For instance, qi exists in earth, your body, thought, and emotion. The Chinese body clock is built on the concept of qi. During 24 hours, qi is thought to move in two-hour intervals throughout the organ systems. While you're sleeping, qi is believed to draw inward to fully restore your body. One of the most important two-hour intervals is between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., which is when the liver is believed to be cleansing the blood. It's during this time frame that the body begins to prepare for qi to move outward from the body again. In the 12-hour period following the peak functioning of the liver from 3 a.m. onward, energy cycles to the organs associated with daily activity. Digestion and elimination, the lungs, large intestine, stomach, pancreas, heart, small intestine. By mid-afternoon, energy again moves inward to support internal organs associated with restoring and maintaining the system. The purpose is to move fluids and heat as well as to filter and cleanse by the pericardium, triple burner, bladder, kidneys, and the liver. 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. is the time of the large intestine, making it the ideal time to eliminate toxins from the previous day with a bowel movement. Additionally, it is the perfect time to brush your hair and wash your body. According to popular belief, combing your hair helps to clear out energy from the mind. At this time, defensive feelings or feelings of being stuck may arise at this point. 7 to 9 a.m. is the time of the stomach, so it is important to eat the biggest meal of the day here to promote optimal absorption. The best meals are those that are warm and packed with nutrition. Disgust or despair are emotions that are likely to come at this point. 9 to 11 a.m. is when the pancreas and spleen release enzymes to help in food digestion and release energy for the coming day. This is the ideal time to exercise and work. Do your most taxing tasks of the day at this time. Emotions such as low self-esteem may be felt at this time. 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. is the time of the heart, which will work to move nutrients throughout the body in an effort to give you energy and nourishment. This is also a good time to eat lunch and it is recommended to have a light, cooked meal. It's also advised that you take a one-hour nap or drink some tea during this time. Extreme happiness or sadness may also be felt at this time. 1 to 3 p.m. is the time of the small intestine and is when food eaten earlier will complete its digestion and assimilation. This is also a good time to go about daily tasks or exercise. Sometimes, during this time, subconsciously vulnerable thoughts or feelings of abandonment may arise. 3 to 5 p.m. is the time of the bladder when metabolic wastes move into the kidney's filtration system. This is the ideal time to study or complete brain-challenging work. Another cup of tea is advised as is drinking a lot of water to help aid detoxification processes. At this time, you might also feel irritated or timid. 5 to 7 p.m. is when the kidneys work to maintain a healthy chemical balance in the body by filtering the blood. This is the perfect time to have dinner and to activate your circulation either by walking, stretching, or having a massage. Fear or terror-related subconscious thoughts may also be present at this time. 7 to 9 p.m. is the phase of circulation when nutrients are carried to the capillaries and to each cell. This is the perfect time to read. Avoid doing mental activities at this time. A difficulty in expressing emotions may also be felt, however. This is the perfect time to have sex or conceive. 9 to 11 p.m. is the time of triple heater or endocrine system where the body's homeostasis is adjusted and enzymes are replenished. It is recommended to sleep at this time so the body can save its energy for the next day. Feelings of paranoia or confusion may also be felt. 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. is the time of the gallbladder and the body needs to be at rest in order to awake feeling energized. According to Chinese medicine, this is the time when yin energy fades and yang energy starts to increase. Yang energy helps you to keep active during the day and is stored when you are asleep. Subconscious feelings of resentment may appear during this time. 1 to 3 a.m. is the time of the liver and a time when the body should be asleep. During this time, toxins are released from the body and fresh new blood is made. If you find yourself waking during this time, you could have too much yang energy or problems with your liver or detoxification pathway. This is also the time of stress, anger, depression, and unfulfilled desires in your life. 3 to 5 a.m. the time of the lungs and again, this is the time where the body should be asleep. If woken at this time, nerve-soothing exercises are recommended such as breathing exercises. To help the lungs in providing the body with fresh oxygen at this time, the body should be kept warm. The lungs are also connected to emotions of sorrow and grief. You have the chance to learn how to take care of yourself for better health and well-being by realizing that every organ has a daily repair and maintenance schedule to follow. 
Additionally, it enables you to pinpoint precisely which organ system or emotion requires strengthening or resolving. Always follow your symptoms and physical cues as a guide. And if you notice a connection, such as that you get sleepy between 5-7 p.m., don't hesitate to research what you can do to strengthen that meridian. Having a sweet potato for breakfast is an excellent remedy for inadequate kidney function. Don't forget to consider the emotional component as well. If you're sleepy during kidney time, do you have any fears holding you back from reaching your true potential? Are you afraid of rejection, failure? Addressing this emotion will strengthen the organ and improve your physical health forever. Do you ever worry that you have bad breath? Check out our next video to learn what unusual veggie is thought to cure halitosis. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.